unfortunately, we not able to get the first blood there, but mid one playing a dangerous game. Uh, he's not going to be able to farm now. He has to wait for his bottle. So <laughs> still not very good for him for the lane. Now, stun's going to come out. They end up dropping the Lucent Beam as well. Moo could be in some trouble. They got the Lucent Beam again. Going to be coming out in one second. The first blood goes the way of Mushi. Unfortunately, the Beastmaster is going to be falling victim to that. Now up top, Ohio going in nice and deep. They do have Misery sitting back. He does have his stomp, but Bat Rod Try to make sure Weeha doesn't have a good time. Yep. They're all getting ready. They will walk through the lanes. The <laughs> DJ just kind of strolling on in. They get the Wave of Terror. The Net Creep comes out. There will be the Searing Chains to follow up. The Magic Missile comes in again. And once a couple of hits come through, this should be a very dead invoker going splat. He pops out the Sun Strike, anticipating everyone going back down. But Ember Spirit, just with the burn damage on the Flame Guard, is able to get the kill for himself. Uh, right now, Supports on Fnatic oh, doing a look up top, six stacks of Napalm onto Misery. Oh, look at dead. the damage Ohio is doing. One more hit. Goodbye. He just TVs out <laughs> under towers saying, I am absolutely out of here. Fnatic, I mean, is this a different team? They look so much more put together than last time. I mean, at the same time, DC's heroes, because they picked the AA. Trying to force the time lock right there. Goes in with the time dilation, but they're getting the body blocks off. They get the magic missile. They're trying to just force him out, and they will be able to go through. He does get the leap away. There is going to be the cold feet proc out onto DJ. Little Icicle Deer comes back in, so they're not able to get the kill on the faceless Void, but still mm -hmm. neat. Now mid lane, mid one will get stomped up. That's going to be a sun strike and a kill. So finally, Invoker putting himself on the board. Yep. Good kill there. Good rotation by Misery. Can't really help his safe lane anymore, so you move around. To I mean, this looks like a strong start for Fnatic. Obviously, DC can take this late game quite easily, but... Oh, the ward scouts out the easy target A. If they catch him, he's dead. I mean, Resolution doesn't have that Chronosphere yet. Only level 5 socks are going to get stunned in place. Slowed down. There's going to be the cold snap at... Oh my gosh. That is just a melted icicle. And Resolution has to leap back, just cowering under this tier 2. They are just abusing this A right now. Like, A is not useful in these sort of situations. And DC opening their draft with AA plus Void. <laughs> Fanatic just using the fact that A doesn't do much here, putting so much pressure on their safe lane. Oh, they're going in. They drop the ulti. Resolution just Ooh, torn apart by the first Eclipse. Well, that is a very well-coordinated kill there. The vision from the ward, the stun from the bench, and he casted he pre emptively casted his Eclipse. So he was able to deal that maximum amount of damage during the stun time of the bench magic missile. So much better teamwork this game by Fnatic. All right, so now mid one sitting back does have a remnant up onto the high ground if oh, necessary. DJ bottom lane, Sunstrike. Oh, they're Stay. going back in the roar. The Sunstrike not going to do enough work, but the creeps they come in and they get the job done. So unfortunately, that will be Enchantress's death. Oh, and finally, DC gets something going on for them. They force out a TP. It's going to relieve some pressure off the ugly board. Bottom lane, there's a ward in between the tier one and tier two. There's a lane ward at the safe lane for Fnatic as well. They have very very good vision across the map. Oh, now they're going in. There will be a smoke. 3 4 three revealing. Goes in for the stun. They have it. They've got everything they need. And there's an ice wall plopped down. The Earth Splitter will go through. 3 4 three. I mean, gets to about half health, but still feeling nice. The oh, forward spirit one. ticking away. And now they're looking for something else. Misery going to be diving deep. Mid one really wants to get something done here. Does have a remnant he can put out if he wants to. And Moo sitting there waiting on the roar. But uh, they know the follow up from Fnatic is right there. They've still got Luna with that loosened beam. She's still there at the ready. Her right click damage is nothing to laugh at at this point. Yeah, with the Bench Aura, they do a lot of uh, physical damage right now. They have to be very, very careful in approaching fights. They need to coordinate it with Chrono plus Ice Blast online, but... Sakstar is getting... <gasps> uh, okay, that's just... Uh, that's so sad for Sakstar in this game. Uh, he's, uh, he's just getting picked on right there. He falls... Uh, there's nothing he can do. Somehow, they need... They need to get his level 6 online. Twice. Then they can use Corner Spear. Got his 5. There is going to be the Roar coming out. They will have the Sun Strike to follow up. So it looks like mid one might be going down here. He's able to go. He needs the little remnant up to the high ground. There will be Earth Splitter coming down. It's able to juke it out. One more hit means he will be dead. Oh, Beastmaster. That was, that was a big mistake by mid one. He, he was not supposed to die there. Oh, they're looking for something there. They will get the time dilation off on a 3 4 3. Swap back there. They're putting DJ into the fray. Stomp not going to connect onto anyone. DJ now leading everyone on a wild chase. Got that double damage rune. So maybe DJ can look to turn this. We'll opt to pop a chrono. Another sun strike and a meatball. Man, this deer is just top of the priority list. Eventually, the Franks might be able to get the heal, but look at that untouchable doing so much work. Can they actually get the catch up here? Mushi oh, looking to be going eclipse. back in. They've got the eclipse that's ready if they need. There will be the leap away from the void in two seconds, but look, it just gets cleaned up. Ah. <laughs> he just baited him so hard there. 
I'm, I'm almost expecting like the question I mark in the alt chat because that seemed just so well executed from Fnatic and DC gobbled up the bait like nothing. Man, that's why I was like, I was like going to flame him if the enchanters died there because <laughs> arguably the Venture has swapped the enchanters to save his own life, but it worked out for them. They got a kill on the void. And now they bring in four here as the blink from the bat showing off to get the lasso onto Misery, the cave of terror to melt his armor. I mean, that Titan, uh, he just crumbles. There's nothing that he could do against that. And like you mentioned, everyone just so desperately in need of their levels that they're making these risky plays. They're putting themselves in risky positions. And I mean, <laughs> you can see what's happening. Yeah, they need to wait for the next corner, 60 seconds, and then they, they defend their towers. So, I mean, when you're ahead, you don't want to trade towers. So I think that's the correct play for Fnatic. You only trade towers when you're behind. Otherwise, you're always trying to take the enemy tower and defend your own towers. Oh no. Gonna get locked in place. Ice They've got blast. the Earth Splitter. Everything dumped off. But the Swamp comes back out. Vengeful Spirit able to go back through. Elder Titan still does get the kill onto the Ember oh, Spirit. Still got the kill. And they lose the Venge as well. The Elder Titan ultimate, they just still managed to clip <laughs> the Ember right after the swap. Uh, so they got a one. Can Fnatic sniff it out? Do they know this is going on? Are they going to try and scout it? Well, the sun start coming in, but just delaying the damage. There will be that little Alpha Wolf coming in. Oh, they know something's going to be on them. Roshan does end up falling, though. It looks like that's going to be a roar coming back. But they do get the Bat Rider down. And now this could be the Earth Splitter coming back on through. And oh, oh the Chrono onto the amazing Ice Blitz. That's going to be four heroes hit. That's going to be oh, huge for DC. No. They're able to go through everything melting down before their eyes. All of a sudden, it's a complete team wide. DC take Roche. They take the Aegis and they take five lives off of Fnatic. Dude. Oh my god, do you see what they did? They were doing Roshan, and Void was like... Yeah, four deaths are really starting to add up. The rest of his team sitting back. Can Ember Spirit afford to be out on his own? I mean, he's got remnants, but... So, Void has blinked right now. Yeah, oh he's no. going in. That's a lockdown. They've got the follow-up. The Sunstrike to go through, and... Oh, goodbye. Look at how fast he died. Void has no damage items. <laughs> I mean, the Earth Splitter helping out there, That's the Sunstrike yeah. going through. So really good communication, and they will go through. They've got the Lasso onto Moo. He has the Roar when this ends, but look, they should be able to keep him locked down. Will he go in? Will he get the Primal oh, off? The DJ, he's got it. They've got the Swap in, so 3-4-3. Once again, going to be eating the Ice Blast, but what? he's going to be ticking down. DJ going to get frozen in place. The Cold Feet going through. The Sunstrike to finish him off. It seems like Fnatic unraveling at the seams as DC start to really go in and show their cohesive team fights. And they're just... Uh, the Chrono plus the Ice Plus and Sunstrike and everyone attacking with the Elder Titan Aura. Oh, they're going die. in. Resolution wants to get something down the Chrono up in four seconds. There's going to be Roshi. out the Eclipse. Ah, the Eclipse is down. Now they've got the Cold Snap as well. Cold Feet not going to proc, but now Resolution does have the Chrono if absolutely needed. Meanwhile, Moo going through, getting a kill on the back lines. They will be able to finish off the Luna eventually. Wait, he got a solo kill. Beastmaster got a solo kill on the Ember as well on top of that. Oh, man, that felt good. Ember goes ahead and dies down in the bottom lane. It does end up taking the Roar, but well, that's super worth it. Now you've got Necro 3s on sit by and watch this go down. That is really unfortunate. The Luna doesn't have her ult to come in and contest this. Just a couple Lucent themes, maybe trying to go and snag a couple of creeps, but she's taking this before they're ready. Ohio is going to go through. They will get the lasso off. Now there is going to be the Lucent Speed to follow up, so Misery could be in some trouble. There's going to be a Chrono onto three. The follow up from the Ice Blast again. The swap in, three, four, three, making some space, but oh, the back lines. Moo is ready for that swap. He goes in, he gets the punish anyway. Now DJ frozen in place. And that deer is going to be poached in 3-4-3, three, three, sitting there between four heroes. Ember Spirit, the lone survivor, just sitting here, farming, whistling away as his team starts to dissolve. This tower is going to be broken in the high ground. Like they saw the rush, they're like, whatever, we're just going to take a team fight because they know that they are strong enough. Any initiation they make, they're just going to win the fight. Looking here to start things off onto the Batrider Ohio, trying to flap away, but the bash proc immediately, 3-4-3 three, three, with the sacrifice. But once again, Moo anticipates, punishes the swap. And they both go down. Vengeful Spirit, she's trying so hard, but it seems like every time she swaps, she and her ally end up dead. And Roshan is the pro. To have really, really smart positioning this fight. Yeah, but DC doesn't have the commit to initiate if they don't want to. They just need to 
Oh, tree falls through. He ran out. Uh, he's going in. The Chrono's only going to connect on two this time. They are going to follow up. Mushi going to be the big, big kill here. Three, four, three. Sitting there and taking it. Throws out the magic missile. It's not going to do anything there. On the back lands, Ohio gets roared up. Immediately picked off. They're looking for something here. Buybacks few and far between as these racks are just getting ripped apart. The final tier three tower will be falling soon. Luna doing what she can. Unleashes the Eclipse, but going to get picked off regardless. And she herself has no buyback. The GG comes out. DC able to take a 2-0 series after a strong start from Fnatic. Well, they end up not being able to do the job. Any last thoughts on that game, Winter? I had high hopes after the early game, and then oh, they crumbled. And then their team play deteriorated, and they, they just got lost after 